What's up my YouTube family? How are you guys doing? I hope everyone has been doing awesome since our last video and are excited about today's video. So what we're going to be talking about today is what was brought up a lot in a previous video and that is what are lace ties? So let's go. So since last time I've been pretty active about trying to start some new things that I've been working on. I recently moved the My Ortho Life Forum away from my website and moved it over to a Facebook group. And the name of this new Facebook group is called The Braces Club and it's basically, the link is right here and I'll put it in the description, but it's basically an open forum where we can have like notifications so you guys can stay up to date with questions people are asking, you can ask questions and we can have some more interaction there as opposed to on YouTube where questions kind of get pushed down and it's really hard to keep up with them. So if you're interested in joining that Facebook group, go ahead and check the link in the description of this video or the link right up here. It's pretty simple to find. Also, I've been working on finalizing a new ebook, which I plan to give to all of my subscribers for free. And it's basically um, everything you should know about braces from before you get them, while you're in braces, how to maintain hygiene, and some tips and tricks on how to actually get your braces off quicker. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming out probably in the next week or two. Okay, so let's get to the point of today's video and that is what are lace ties? So a lot of you have been asking, well I have these things that look like power chains but they're made out of wire. What are those? And that's actually what lace ties are. They don't act like power chains but they look kind of similar. So let's take a quick look on what a lace tie looks like on a model and then we'll describe how we use it as orthodontists. So lace tie looks very similar to a power chain. The way it works is that it crisscrosses between all your back teeth to make them serve as one unit. Now, if you guys remember in my previous videos, I describe orthodontics a lot like a tug of war on rolly chairs. So what we try to do in orthodontics is stack this to our favor. So if you had two teeth that were identical teeth and you were to put a force between them, they would both move equal but an opposite. One would come this way and one would come the opposite way, right? What we try to do in orthodontics though is capitalize on that. So let's think of a scenario. Let's say that you have a front tooth that you want to move backwards and you have the back teeth that you don't really want to move forward. Now I've talked about this in a previous video about TADs which I'll link out to over here where they are absolute anchors meaning the TAD won't move and you can use that as an anchor to move your front teeth backwards. But a TAD sometimes may be overkill in a case like this whereas it's something pretty minor where you can use biomechanics and orthodontics and use the existing teeth as your anchors to bring that front tooth backwards. The way you can make those back teeth serve as one unit is by using a lace tie to tie all the back teeth together to make them serve as an anchor to bring your front tooth backwards. Now for example, let's say we were trying to retract the front teeth in like an extraction case. What we can use is use a lace tie to tie all your back teeth together and use a power chain to bring the front tooth back using the back teeth as a anchor. Another purpose for lace ties is to hold space closed. So let's say that we've closed all your space in your mouth. A lot of times what your orthodontist might do is use a lace tie under the wire to hold the teeth together so that when we're doing our mechanics like the rubber bands and doing detailing bends, your spaces don't reopen. So once your spaces are closed, a lot of times your orthodontist might use a lace tie to tie these teeth together to prevent them from shifting and opening up space. Some of you might ask, well why can't I just use a power chain to hold the space closed? And that works a lot of the time. But in certain cases you want to use a lace tie because they're a lot more hygienic because the power chain can pick up a lot of gunk. And also there's no side effects, it's pretty passive. Once it's tied in, it doesn't cause movement. Whereas every time you put in a power chain, it might cause a little bit of a minor movement just because we refresh the elasticity of that power chain. A lot of people might ask, well, how do I maintain hygiene with these lace ties? Well, if you use the products that I recommend in the description of this video, they're really easy to maintain. It's very similar to all other things with your braces, but the only thing that might be a tad bit more challenging is the fact that when you're flossing, you have to make sure that you go under the lace tie as well as the wire when you floss so that when you draw the floss under the gums, you're not pulling on your lace tie, which would prevent it from actually going under your gums. Other than that, 
maintain the exact same hygiene that I taught you guys in previous videos and you should do great. So you guys might ask, how does the orthodontist put on this lace tie? So let me show you guys in a little bit of detail how I would insert a lace tie around the braces. So this is what a lace tie looks like. It's a thin wire that we crisscross around either your back teeth or front teeth, whatever teeth we're interested in holding. And then we twist it using the same instrument that we used to put on those color ties. We want to make sure that it's snugly tied in and then clip it. We, use, we want to tuck in this pigtail because this pigtail can uh, irritate your lips. So we want to make sure that it's nicely tucked in and away from your lips so that it doesn't get caught and cause any irritation. Next we can go ahead and tie in the wire as we regularly would either using the color ties or power chains as your orthodontist deems necessary. This lace tie can go either above or under the wire. A lot of the times I'll use it under the wire just so that I don't have to retie every single appointment. Once it's there, it's there to stay until we no longer need it. You won't even notice that the lace tie is there. It's something that goes under the wire sometimes over, and it's a passive tool that your orthodontist will use to basically create or move around what we call anchorage. I'm curious, do you guys have lace ties in your mouth? Let me know in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all things braces and orthodontics. Also, be sure to check out that Facebook group, The Braces Club, so that you guys can engage with other people that have braces, have your questions answered, ask questions, and we can create a community online where we can all talk on Facebook. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for that ebook that will be coming out very, very soon. For now, Dr. Greg, out.